I'd like to actually start with Maxwell, because Maxwell is actually a physicist that is generally not well known by the general public. But he actually was also one of these unifiers, because what Maxwell did was to teach us that some things that have to do with magnets are also things that have something to do with static electricity and lightning. He created uh, his theory of electromagnetism. And he brought magnets and lightning, electricity, uh, static electricity. He brought all of these things together in a unified theory that we call the Maxwell's equations. And out of that unification came a very interesting discovery that you could take magnets and, um, and connect them to batteries and create little chunks of electromagnetism. And these things would go flying away from the things where you created them. And of course, you know, that's a strange idea. No one th had thought about that previously. But then a uh, German physicist actually found these things in a laboratory experiment around 1888. And the next part of the story you do know, because a guy named Marconi heard about these things, and he turned it into radio. So you can see the power of unification in this story, because that's the start of our modern communication. Interestingly enough, uh, on the unification front, after Maxwell was able to unify electricity and magnetism into a single set of equations, he also then attempted to bring gravity into the description. And for several, uh, towards the latter part of his career, he tried to do the reverse of what Einstein is very famous for doing. Einstein gives us a theory of gravity and wants to bring electromagnetism together with it. Maxwell creates electromagnetism and tries to bring gravity together with it. And both of them, in some sense, fail.